Okay, this is Algebra 1. We're on Chapter 4, Section 8. We're trying to write equations given uh, some solutions or given a table of data. Uh, this is my second example on this. So let's uh, get started here. Um, first of all, the first thing I do every time is I graph my data. So I've got my graph down here. So the point 1, 5, 2, 7, 3, 9, 4, 11, and 5, 13. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I probably need to count by 2 so I can fit 13 on there. So this is going to be a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. And I can count by 1's down below. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So then I plot my points. Point 1, 5, that's over 1, up 5. So up to there. 2, 7, 3, 9. 4, 11, and 5, 13. So with this graph, we see that this is actually very much a straight line. So if I just draw my straight line here, and then I can take it and place it right on those points. Now we can see how nicely that lines up into a line here. So the next thing, now that I've got my points plotted, and I kind of see that there's a line, is I want to try to write the equation. So I want to know what y is in terms of my x. So what is y? So it's kind of like the mystery line here. I have some x's, and how did I get from x to y? How did I get from x to y? How did I get from x to y? So let me look straight across first. How did I get from 5 to 7? Well, I added 2. How did I get from 7 to 9? Well, I added 2 more. How did I get from 9 to 11? Well, I added 2 more. How did I get from 11 to 13? I added two more. So every time I went up one, so one to two, two to three, three to four, I went up one. On the bottom, I had to add two. Well, if I'm adding two over and over and over again, that's the same thing as multiplying. So I had to add two, one, two, three, four times to get to my fifth term. The other thing I need to know is kind of a starting point. So I see a starting point on my graph, like where it is on the y-axis when x is 0. I also like to take my table and fill it in here. So if I'm adding 2 to get from 5 to 7, I would subtract 2 to get back, so that would be a 3. And that is, in fact, graphed right there is my 3. So I'm starting at 3, okay, I'm starting at 3, and then I'm adding 2 each time. So I added 2. One time, I added 2 two times. So I added 2. I added 2 one time and whenever I was at 1. I added 2 two times when I was at 2. I added 2 two, three times, right, because this is an add 2 here, when I went at the third one. So I'm adding 2 x times, which just means I'm multiplying. Now normally when we write equations, we write our x term first, and then we write our constant second. So let's go back and test this. If I put a 1 in here, so this would be y equals 2 times plus 3. Change colors here. So if I put a 1 in here, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay, that works. If I put a 2 in here, make this into a 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7. Okay, that works. How if I put a 3 in here? 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 plus 3 is 9. Okay, so that appears to work. I could keep testing. Test 5. So 2 times 5 plus 3 would be 10 plus 3, and that is, in fact, 13. So they all check out. I did get the right equation. So that is the equation of my set of points there or the line that would contain all those points.